Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again with another episode of Farming Simulator 17. Hope you guys are having a good one today. My day is going pretty darn well. We are just waiting for this guy to go ahead and finish up sowing this particular field. Then we can get him to move on to the next field. This guy is seeding the field, so that'll be a next. Um, but yeah, we've got the harvester all done. So that guy finished up this field right up here, and then I think I'm going to go ahead and take this guy and we are gonna go up here so there's this this straw that's over here on the ground and I'm not really sure what you can do with it uh, I th think I vaguely remember like being able to do something with it but I don't I just don't technically understand or remember what exactly you could do so, I think we're going to try and do something here today, and I think I'm actually going to load up some more uh, some more stuff here. Let's go ahead, and we need to start filling, but is there a way? Start filling? R? Yeah, I guess I want my wheat, so let's go ahead and fill that up. Wow, that is actually really fast. And then while that's happening, let's look at our prices. So, we probably want to go to the Maple Field, Maple Field Mill. Uh, and get that taken care of. So let's go ahead and we are going to head over to the Maplefield Mill, um, which the easiest way to do that, I guess, would be to head over to the train station. So, because, yeah, let's do that. Let's head over to the train station. I know driving through a field is probably usually a bad thing. Uh, let's head over to the train station, unload our stuff, load it into the train. And that way we can kind of get a feel of how the train works and everything. And then we'll, uh, we'll, you know, use the train, transfer it over to the other mill, and then we'll head back. So let's go ahead. I'm going to make this map just a little bit smaller. Uh, let's come back down here. Like a so, speed limit 35 miles an hour. Well, we're doing 43. We're, we're going a little faster than we should be. But, all right, so we can come up into here. And I believe this is how this is done. So let's go ahead and uncover. We can hit I. That's taken care of. I can go ahead and switch to this train. Start filling with the wheat. Start. Where is this happening at? I'm assuming it's happening like way, 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 way back here. Yeah, it only filled at 6%. So, oh wait. No, that's the wrong train. Um. Oh, sugar. That is the wrong train. All right, let's, let's get out. Let's see. I, I don't know if there is a way to take care of this or not. Um, but there's got to be... There's got to be something. Oh, you know what? I probably need to get... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, let's... We got to just pull up the vehicle here just a smidge. We'll, we'll, we'll get up here to the front. We'll pull up the rig to where that second to last one is over. Oh, uh, no. That says start filling. I don't want to start filling. I would like to... empty oh there it is there it is there it is I saw it I saw it <laughs> all right slowly 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 there we go stop unload very nice okay now we can go over and get into this train and then once we get this one into the front spot, I think just a little bit more. Yep, start filling. Wheat, start. And once that hits 8,000, we are set. All right. So let's go ahead and hit cruise control. And we should be able to continue on our way to... Uh, where did we say we're going? Maple Field Mill. That's still the best price for wheat that we have and we can get 741 dollars so we can whip through this toggle map size yeah let's turn that back on just so we can see and then let's uh let's 
kind of check out inside the, the train here. This this definitely looks amazing. Like, I really, really enjoy uh, what they've got as far as all this stuff is concerned. It looks like we're coming up close to the mill. And we're going to want to go ahead and hit the brakes now. Kind of turn everything back down. I know we're going to probably need just a little bit more speed to actually unload. Just continue there a little bit. There we go. And unload. Very nice. 5,000 in our harvest income. Very, very nice. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and whip this train back to where it belongs. We're up to $22,000 now. Uh, still have a little ways to go before, you know, we have any reliable money. But, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so parking our tractor back over here, I'm going to switch to this guy. And we are going to put him to work on this particular field. And I think I'm going to start him way over here. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Not too fast, not too fast. And let's go ahead and hit that hire worker button here just as soon as I get them all lined up. H, got him taken care of. He's going to go ahead and start to plow the field. Very nice. This guy still has a little bit more to go, not too much more. All right, so I think, you know, we got... We got all those things. We've got this one, this one, this one. Uh, actually, can I... No, is there... Okay, hold on. Let's see. Uh, where's controls? Game settings? I guess there is no actual controls. We can just hit enter in this one. And I think... Actually, let's go ahead. Map overview prices. We have quite a bit of stuff like saved up, I guess, uh, working on different things and whatnot. Uh, where I might want to drop something. Let's see. We got a thousand thirteen thirty six. We got this one over here at the mill for fourteen sixty seven, which is that's kind of like a soybean. Maybe you know what? That might actually be worth it to go ahead and try and run some soybeans over because I think I want to buy another vehicle to kind of continue with the process. Um, I don't know what I want to want it to be. I can't really decide yet. Maybe something to haul trees, because I think cutting down trees could actually be something that's... Uh, oh, you know what? I went the wrong way. Let's go ahead and drive off that ledge. And we can get that guy right under there. Wheat, barley, canola, soybeans. Let's go ahead and fill this puppy up with soybeans. Okay, 5,000. Good. We'll get this over to the other area that we wanted to go. He's doing a very good job at clearing that field. And once we get over there, we could go and sell this and hopefully get, you know, a semi-decent profit. And, um, yeah, I think we're going to buy something to haul some logs because we might try and chop down some trees. All right, we're back over here at the store. I've got almost $30,000. Let's go ahead and activate the shop menu. And, okay, so we need some forestry equipment, but I don't really know what we need. So there's this. This cuts tree stumps. Uh, with a tree saw, you can cut down trees. This is a transport tree logs. Plants new trees in the ground. So, yeah, it looks like there's some pretty high cost stuff here. And even like taking down stumps can seem to be relatively hard. So what do I want to do is I probably want like a skid loader of some sort. Uh, well, you know what? Those are actually really expensive as well. Uh, it's got like a log fork you can have. Yeah, I don't know. This one is pretty big. That's a. Uh, can cut down trees with that puppy look at that thing oh look at that one okay so there's there's got to be other accessories here for like more normal tools there's even oh wait no i just saw where'd it go slurry tanks skid loaders uh i saw bailing mowers so there you go you can actually pick up some mowers if you wanted to, so we could cut grass. That's another way you can make a good little chunk of money. Uh, you've got the 
plows, you've got the sewing machines, you've got the sprayers, the weeders, the loading wagons, windrows, tippers. I'm looking for things you can put on your tractors. Levelers, levelers, belt systems, pallets, low loaders, animals. I just, I feel like there's something I'm missing. There's some tool that I'm just not seeing. So let's, let's come back up here to the top. Uh, headers, oh, front loaders. There you go. This might be what you want. Front loaders use a stack of various goods. That's $5,000. Uh, if that is that, then there's probably a log fork that I can also buy. So let's grab that. Um, hold on, main color. I could switch the color. That's really cool. All right, let's buy that for eight or for nine hundred. Uh, we can purchase that from the store. Let's go ahead and buy this one for five thousand. Select main color. We're gonna go for the same color scheme. Buy and. The last thing that I think I want to buy is an actual, another tractor here. Um, I don't know what we can kind of get away with. I'm assuming it needs to be some sort of front loader. And is there any of these that don't do front loading type stuff? I, you know what? I can't even buy that. But can I, can I lease this? What's it look like? Lease cost $4,000. Yeah, let's go ahead and lease this one. We'll set up standard. Narrow tires, standard. Uh, it's like an extra $400. Yeah, we'll just go standard. Let's lease that vehicle. We can pick that one up as well. And we can just come over here. And I should, hopefully, be able to... Whoa, this thing, like, fired up quick, didn't it? All right. So now... That doesn't work like that, does it? <laughs> Oh, I bought the wrong thing. Uh, go back. So let's get out of that. Is Can I, like, return my lease? Is this something that I can do? Um, okay, garage. Let's see. We've got one of these guys on lease. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, well, I, I, don't, I don't want the lease anymore. How do I find what I leased? I don't understand. It's a bunch of stuff there. Tractors. We got one of these on lease. Cost per day. Operating. Per day. 450. I, I kind of want to get rid of it. I don't know how to get rid of it, guys. I don't understand. All right. What is Okay, so what tractor do I need to be able to run this cool thing? Because it just seems like really, really cool. But front loaders... I feel like you actually need like something else really, really neat. Oh, look at that. It's a styre multi. So we need a styre, whatever, whatever the heck the styre is. Let, let's see. Styre tractors, styre multi. This is the one that we need to look at. Engine setup. Got a little beefier engine front loader attachment. Well, you know, I don't really need that since I already bought it. Uh, we can go with an orange one. Wheel setup design forestry. Um, it's an extra $8,000 wide tires, narrow tire standard. You know what? I think we might actually have one of these. So why don't I go ahead as much of a bummer that this is that I did this. I think I might already own one of the tires so I can go get one of the other ones, trade it out for this one that I have that I would love to get rid of, but apparently I can't do that vehicle overview. Um, Hulman. Can I can I get rid of you? Like I don't I don't want to run you anymore. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> if you guys know how to get rid of a lease, let me know. I would be grateful very much. Alright, so I figured it out, guys. Leased items. We can go ahead and return this one. Uh, it's not going to cost us anything, so that's really good. We did lose our initial investment with it, and I did just go ahead and look. I don't own the K the uh, Styres. I don't own one, so I don't think that I want to bother with getting one yet. Um, I might look at, there is some different loading weapons. There's a header trailer. What is this? What is it? Headers safely on the road. Okay. Uh, there's also 
low loaders, which are something forestry equipment, which is like big tractors and stuff. I think we're going to have to wait a little while to really get into forestry the way that we want to. Cause like I could pull out my, my handy dandy thing right here and let's go ahead and just rotate that on this angle, cut it down. And we've just cut down a, a tree just like randomly. Uh, I can also pick up the entire tree <laughs> uh, and throw the tree. <laughs> All right. Tell you what, can I pick up the tree? No, hey, come on. Pick up the tree. And we're just going to run this over. Oh, 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 we lost it. Pick it up. Pick it up. Carefully. Um, stop doing that. Pick it up. Oh, no, stop. Oh, I got it in my truck. Okay, I wasn't even trying to do that. That's weird. All right. No, stop picking up the dang truck. Or not picking up the truck. Going. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? We've got this. We've got this. I have faith in us. Yes. All right. It's out of that little groove there, which is fine with me. Kind of just carry it along. All right. So now if I lift this puppy up and can I put it in the back of my truck? Let's drop it. Oh, no. That threw it. I don't want to throw it. I want to just gently drop it in my truck so I can save it for later. Just like that. All right, let's get in. Okay, yeah, it, it's this works out really well, guys. I don't I don't see any problems whatsoever with what's happening right here in this moment. Uh, we should be able to just go. Yep, afraid that was gonna happen. All right, so I'm thinking now we go ahead and we. Activate Hintel. All right. We go ahead and we chop this puppy in half a little bit more. Like so. Oh, we just like destroyed the whole top of the tree. Okay. Well, now I can actually pick these up, these little logs and just drop them in the truck, no problem. All right, so we can take those home and use them for firewood or something. I don't know, we just chopped the tree down in that parking lot, no big deal. All right, well guys, if you are enjoying this series, let me know by hitting that like button. I greatly appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below what you would like to see me do next. Um, I still, I, I have a bunch of stuff that I could be doing right now, and I'm just kind of derping around, learning what's in the game, learning what we can do. I probably should pick up a mower so I can do some other uh, jobs and whatnot and stop spending our money so frivolously because it's it's going to be it's gonna be a hard winter if, uh, if I don't have money to support the family. So, all right, guys, my name is Drax. Have a good one.